If the face plays taunt, me still go face. Seems good. Nine mana pyro blast to the face and too slow. Demon Hunter's version of Void Lord, but you can't cheat it out, so it's bad. Demon Hunter's version of Phil's Bane, which sucked. This is great. If you top deck it, this is great. This tells your opponent that you are going to clear their board, which is bad. This is too expensive and the pings can go face. This is too bland for an 8 drop. Another reward for top decking, seems good. This is bad, but can we nerf Void Caller to this please? Playing this from the left of your hand is strong, turn 1, otherwise it's bad. This is incredible. There are lots of bad demons. Sentient Shield Master 2.0. The 10 mana card is unfortunately bad. Aviana for spells and seems great. There are lots of bad 8 drops. This card sucks. Reverse Book of Spectres for Druid and seems great. This is going to be bad in the late game anyway. This is better than Faces Manipulator. Flower Power Girl wasn't good and this won't be either. Just play Druid Spellstone. This might be good, but do you play it over Nourish? I know you can buff the Prime, but it doesn't seem good. The Boom Ship for Hunter, but with no Rush. This seems not bad. This can go face and ignore Taunt, but it's expensive. This seems good. This is going to be annoying to play around. This seems strong. Card draw for Hunter, which is great. I'd be okay playing this on turn 2, but otherwise not. This seems decent. The fact that mage spells try to target enemies make this good. This is great for mage you've discovered. This is too clunky. Not having minions in your deck is a bad idea. Just run a board clear instead. There are lots of bad mage minions. This is probably too slow for control mage. This is amazing but discovering it is probably better. This is aggressively statted and seems good. Secret mage will run this and everyone is going to hate playing against it. This seems really good for an aggressive Murloc Paladin. This is kind of the opposite of Lanessa, which seems bad. Paladins don't need random Murlocs, plus it's too slow. This is too expensive and Lay on Hands is better. This makes the previous card less expensive, but I still think it's bad. Explorer's Hat for Paladin, but it is a Librum. Play this on turn 1 and you lose. If Librum decks work, this will be a key card. Light's Justice plus Equality? No thanks. This is a nice tempo card. I like the one drop, but the seven drop not so much. A potentially very good new board clear for Priest. This will be hard to get value from. This will only be good off Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. This won't survive for more than a turn, and if it does, it's still bad. I think Wormus Agent is better. This can target any minion and seems good. Play this on one, and by turn three, this will still suck. Rena Priest says thank you. This might be better than Valence Chosen. The Prime is really interesting and might see play. There are too many bad secrets. This after a turn 2 stealth minion seems great. Evolve on a secret and seems powerful. This also seems very strong. Freezing Trap on a 1 drop? Holy. Okay, summon a Blizzard Lags Rogue because this is great. This is too expensive. Rogue is starting to look OP. I'm speechless. I'd even run this in Odd Rogue. This might help Malago Shaman. Very good anti aggro tool for Control Shaman. 5 mana is too much, just run Evolve. I don't think this will help Elemental Shaman. Seems like a good tempo card. Amazing control tool. This discourages you to use your hero power, which I don't like. Thank goodness it's not 2 mana, also, it's not good. This will usually not give you a spell on turn 3. I don't think this needs overload and is bad. The prime is a mini Gul'dan, nice. Rewarded for tapping or drawing this. I like my warlock hands just the way they are. Unfortunately this is a demon that colors your res pool. Just use your hero power, it's better. Just play Void Lord. This is too slow for wild. Just run Dark Bomb. They're still printing dislock cards. This is not bad. Seems good for discard lock. This might help Tempo Warrior. Arcane Missiles can now remove weapons. Um, this seems cool, but not good. Kind of like Defile for Warrior. Seems strong. Tutors in general are good. Doesn't seem good. This seems great, and it's a mech. 
This doesn't do enough. Good Tempo Warrior card. Fiery War Axe died for this. We've already established that Druids like this a lot. Egg Dex will have a field day with this. It's too bad this has 3 health. This might enable some broken combo and lets you remove enemy taunt. Your opponent is going to find a way to remove that 12-12. I aim my spells at the face and this doesn't help that. I've seen better mechs than this. This lets Reno decks keep tribes in check. Darkest Hour Warlock says thank you. Just play Echoing Ooze. It's too slow and easy to kill. No thank you. Next. I wish this was a lackey that I could generate. Get this Battlegrounds minion out of my mode. You can make this a 109 1 and I still wouldn't play it. I would rather play Tar Creeper. I would rather run the Death Rattle Taunts. Poor River Crocolisk, he'll never get a break. If you're playing on turn 7, you're, gonna pr you're probably going to be dead. This is way better than Pile of the Sky Golem. I it would be good off Deathstalker Rexar. Flood Dex say thank you for this. Imagine running this over Reno the Relicologist. There are better ways to gain spell damage. This seems interesting. Basically a lackey. Just run Blood Mage Thalnos. This is just in case Big Priest, Big Priest gets out of control. Glacial Shard's Big Sister, and it sucks.